Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, yesterday we made a quick video where we created this hover effect for the menu. Now we did this with a custom global menu and there's been a bit of confusion about doing it with the default Divi menu. So we're gonna do a similar one today with the default Divi menu here. Um, we also had a question, somebody wanted to make those hover effects shorter with rounded corners. So we're gonna do that too. So let's get started. To do this today, we're gonna to need to go to our theme customizer. I've got mine open here, but for anybody that doesn't know how to get there, go down to your dashboard. Once in the dashboard, go on down to appearance, themes and customize right there. Click on that. That's gonna take us to this page here and it's gonna display whatever your home page is right there. If you need to change that, you can do that in the home page settings. But we're gonna be using the CSS, additional CSS panel just down at the bottom here. So I'm gonna click on that. There's the code that I wrote. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And we'll start from scratch. Okay, what I'm gonna do is publish and quickly refresh this page so all this disappears up here. Back down to the additional CSS. And here we are. We've got our default Divi menu back here. So I'm gonna give this a title. Always a good idea to give your CSS a title. Makes it so much easier to find if you write a lot of it. And that's forward slash, star star, forward slash, Anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code. So let's say menu hover effect. Yeah, I might want to spell it right. Great. Let's drop down and have a look what we're dealing with here. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. I'm going to right click and inspect one of our links here. That's gonna bring up our inspector here and it's showing us that this is a link, an anchor tag right there, which is great. When your inspector comes up, make sure you've got elements selected one side and styles the other side. Elements will give you HTML, styles will give you CSS over here. And when I look up here, it's actually under a div ID of ET top navigation. So that's what we need to copy and target the anchor tag under it. So I'm gonna double click on that and copy it, Control C. I'm gonna drop down after my title here. Now it's an ID, see it's an ID right there. All IDs have a hashtag, not a dot in front of them like a class. And then the ID name itself. And remember we're targeting the anchor tag, so I need to put a space in there and an A. Now we can open and close some curly brackets and tell it what we want it to do. And don't forget this code will be down below the video for anybody that just wants to copy and paste. Okay, I'm gonna write mine in here. Let's get on the anchor tag. Make sure we're on the right thing. And I'm gonna go into the element style. I'll pull this up so you can see what's going on a bit easier. First thing I wanna do is give it a background color. So I'm gonna say background. I'll just say blue and then we'll select the color that we actually want. As you can see, that's given it a background color of blue and it's letting us know that it's sort of sitting there and it's got a lot of padding on the bottom. I've got a free Chrome color inspector here, so I'm gonna quickly grab the color that I want it to be right here. I'll copy that hex code. It's a hex code. All hex codes also have a hashtag in front of them and then the code, and that's turned it to my logo blue there. Great. Okay, so next off, I really wanna change the color of that writing so we can see it a bit brighter, the home where it says home there. So let's just say color. I'm gonna say hashtag FFF for white. That's better, we can see what's going on a little bit better there, great. Well, let's make it the shape we want it now. And we can do that with a bit of padding. So I'm gonna say padding. Top and bottom, I'm gonna give it, say, 10 pixels. And left and right, let's give it maybe 20 pixels, or 15 maybe, I think I'll do it. That's better, it's made it the shape that we want, but it's actually, and we'll deal with that hover effect in a minute, it's going a little bit opaque there. 
But that's kind of the shape we want it, but it's not really in the middle of our nav bar up there. So let's pull it up to the center with a bit of negative margin. It's not got too far to go. So I'm gonna say margin, top, and I'm gonna say maybe negative 10 pixels. Not too bad. And if you need to, you can select the 10 here, roll up and down with your mouse wheel and adjust it accordingly. I think that 10 was working well, great. And you can add some margin to the bottom if you need to, if it's not pushing it down far enough for you. Okay, let's make those little corners rounded on this. To do that, I'm gonna do border radius, border dash radius. I'm gonna give mine about 30 pixels. And again, with border radius, the higher the number, the more rounded it's going to be. So that's very rounded with pill shape buttons there. If I was to change that perhaps to three pixels, or let's say five pixels, so you'll still see it, it'll be just a slight curve on the corners up there. And obviously, the more that you do it, the more curve it's going to get. Again, I'm just rolling up with my mouse, and the more I roll up, the more curved it gets. I'm going to leave mine on 30 there. Great, well it's getting to be the shape that we want it, or shaping up if you will. So now we need to make this permanent because if I refresh this page now, that's gonna disappear and everything's gonna go back to how it was normally. So to do that, I need to copy all this code. I'm selecting it from the semicolon on the end of the 30 picks there to the beginning of the B for background. Control C to copy it. I can get rid of my inspector now. And we can paste it in between these curly brackets that we just put up there. And once we've pasted it in here, you need to publish it to make it permanent. But if we look over here, there's a bit of a problem. We've got the corners that we wanted. We don't have the color that we wanted because that's the default Divi style. So we've got to overwrite a few. And it doesn't look like we've got the padding that we wanted either. I think we've got the same margin on the top though. So we've got to overwrite a few of these styles here. And we have to do that by using the important. And I don't like using that unless we have to. Sometimes you have to. So the color, which is the color of the text, I'm going to say exclamation mark important. As you can see, that's turned that white now. And it looks like we've got a similar problem with the padding. This is what it should look like, but we've got all kind of padding going on on the bottom there. So let's do that too. I'm gonna to copy the important there. And I'm gonna paste it with space just after that. That's better. Now they're exactly how they were when we designed them. But, don't know if you can see that in your browser, we've got a little line appeared there. It's because it's shrunk up the actual nav class because it didn't, we've taken away some of that padding on the bottom there. So we need to push that back down so it remains the same height. And we can do that with a bit of margin bottom. And what do you want, 10, 20, maybe 30 pixels? Let's try that. So I'm gonna put that just below my margin top here. I'm gonna say margin bottom. And let's try 30 pixels. And that may be a little bit too much. I think it's made our header grow a little bit. So let's take that back to perhaps 20. And we can still see that little line there and that looks like about five pixels. So let's call it 25. Great. And that seems to have adjusted it just how we want it. But perhaps you didn't want to see these until you hovered over it. So we need to create a hover effect or maybe you wanted to change the color. I'm gonna change the color, but I'll show you how to do both. So let's create a hover effect. To do that, we're gonna take this CSS ID and the anchor tag right here. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna drop down a couple, paste it in there. Right after the A with no gap, I'm gonna put a full colon and no gap again and the word hover. Now we can open some curly brackets and create a hover effect. Now, if you didn't want anything there and just wanted to have this when you hover over it, 
we can simply take the background color and the actual color. Because remember, it'll return once we take this away to the default Divi color, which was that sort of light gray. So I'm going to cut that, Control X. As you can see, they've returned. I'm going to paste it in down below here. Now when we hover over, it's going to appear like that. That doesn't look full blue. There's our full blue. I'm not quite sure why that's staying like that. Probably just need to refresh the page. But that's not the full blue right there. So let's make sure it stands out by saying opacity colon 1, which is fully visible. That should be a deep dark blue now. We may have to force it though. We'll see. Let's try that now. No, we'll have to force it. Again, we'll have to use our little important there. Control C to copy, little space, Control V to paste. That's better, nice and dark, fantastic. So that's doing what we want. But I actually want mine to be a different color initially and then go to this color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the background back up there. I'm gonna put the color back up there. Control C to copy and I'll just paste them back in where we had them. Now yeah, let's get this light blue color that we've got on our logo down here. There it is. And I'm going to replace that hex. I'll leave the hashtag in there. There we go. They've gone light in color. Let's have perhaps that writing dark in color. Let's make it black instead of white. So the color just underneath here. I'm simply going to put three zeros in there for black. There we go. That's going to work for me. Well, let's publish this. Hopefully that will fix that little problem with that. Let's publish this. And let's visit the site. Remember, this is the old version. Let's just refresh this. And when I hover over, it's going to go to that dark blue and have the light looking riding on there. So there you go, guys. There's a nice little rounded menu hover effect using the default Divi menu this time. I hope that's been useful for you. Don't forget, I'll put all this code down below the video for anybody that just wants to copy and paste it. Let's refresh this page. There we go, that's better. Back to our additional CSS. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you if I can. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.